Well, it has been nearly three years since pedestrian crossing beacons were installed. Yeah, and still officials say not enough people are using them on a highly traveled Lakeland Road. News Channel 8's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva explains the concern. You can put it on your arm, the reflective armband. For years, the Florida Department of Transportation has focused on this stretch of Memorial Boulevard and the 300 people who walk it every day. This is an area that there's some uh, homelessness going on and to get from the north to the south of the boulevard, there's a lot of uh, frequent crossing. Lakeland Police Assistant Chief Hans Lehman says crashes involving pedestrians and bicyclists have been an ongoing problem for years on Memorial Boulevard. In February 2020, FDOT installed several pedestrian beacons, which are supposed to stop traffic so pedestrians can cross with the push of a button. Some say it does not always work. A lot of times people, when they mess the button, the cars keep going. They some stop, some stop before the light comes on, but uh, most of the times they, they stop, but a lot of times they don't. On Thursday, FDOT joined Florida Highway Patrol, the Polk County Sheriff's Office, and the Lakeland Police Department for enforcement and outreach for both drivers and pedestrians. I just wanted to try to promote that yes. um, and get you to use the equipment. In that time, our cameras captured several pedestrians not using the crosswalks, including children. Very unsafe, sad and very unsafe because that, that equipment is just a few hundred feet down the road. Push the button, it'll activate. He can safely cross by law and he can safely cross for safety's sake, period. Well, time is